Now 515, Scott Steele. It's Friday. Everybody looking ahead to the holiday weekend. And word is, you guys, that the bronze Fonz is going to be partying with all of those. <laughs> They're all bronze, right? <laughs> all right. Should I just move on? Susan? There's like a thud there. I was in the laughing. Studio. I right, laughed. Thank you. You giggled. <laughs> Here's a live look from our Port Washington Tower Camp. Hey, this is going to be a great holiday weekend, everybody. Weather-wise, looks like it's going to be uh, just about perfect. You'll see that in the seven day coming up, but we're starting out with really a bright sky. I mean, you would notice it if you leave in the next half hour or so, you'll see that the blue moon, the full moon, the second one of the month is so bright out there that it's it's casting a lot of light across southeastern Wisconsin. You got to go, wow, is it almost sunrise? Well, it will be soon. Uh, a fab Friday tops your weather headline. Sun returns for Saturday, and we will be seasonal soon after one more hot day today. 72 outside right now in West Bend, and also for you fine folks waking up with us in Waukesha. It's 70 in Chocolate City, USA, Caitlin, and in Lake Geneva. 71 in Fondy in Port Washington. Now, the chilly air remains up to our northwest. There is a cool front that is going to be sagging southward as we go through the day today. Right now it's around northern Wisconsin, but it does not have a big impact when it comes to any sort of precipitation. So we don't have to worry about that. Maybe just a few high thin clouds to filter the sunshine. The more significant thing it will do is shift our winds around off the lake and we'll notice a significant cool down in the eastern counties as we go into the afternoon. Satellite and radar combination shows just some thin clouds along that front. The bigger story here comes the remnants of Hurricane Isaac barreling northward, approaching the mid-Mississippi Valley in southern Missouri right now. I expect that precipitation shield will finally make it close to the Wisconsin-Illinois border, and that's why there could be a few isolated showers, particularly on Sunday, well to the south. Most of us, though, staying dry. As that front passes on by, high pressure builds back in, and this should be the dominant feature for the holiday weekend. So your storm team forecast for us today, sunny and hot. We go up to 90 degrees. That'll be middle part of the day. And then that front passes through our wind shift around to the northeast and it will cool down significantly this afternoon. Tonight, down to 62 under clear to partly cloudy skies. Yes, a nice night to go for a walk with you, sweetie. And then for tomorrow, mostly sunny and seasonal up to 78 degrees on our Saturday. Saturday night, partly to mostly cloudy and warm. Our temperatures down to near 67. Here comes Milwaukee's one and only 3D HD seven day planner. And I expect mainly dry conditions through the holiday weekend. Again, Caitlin, close to the Illinois border on Sunday, there could be a few isolated showers or sprinkles and again on Monday. But I think most of us stay dry for most of the holiday weekend. It looks almost perfect. All right, we'll take it.